loves, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing this video. It is my April currently inked video and I tried my best not to ink up so many pens but I didn't finish some from the previous month so they are carried over and then of course I'm like I'm gonna add to this you know so right now I actually have seven pens inked up by the way this pen case is by Kayla. She is KR Plans on Instagram. I'll link it below. And I just, I love this case. It's so cute. Like this embroidered pattern is so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I love it so much. And then, yeah, the interior is this fluffy pink material. It's so beautiful. She has an Etsy shop. I'll link it below. And as you can see, it can fit. Really, it's supposed to be four pens because there's four slots. Um, but then, you know, you can definitely squish more like I am. So now there's seven in there. I can totally fit like two more in the size if I really want to but yeah there's definitely room and they are just like so secure in there I love it so much because it's this fluffy material and I just you know my pens are like snuggled in there like uh, a blanket I love it so anyways that's you know my little cute pen case again it'll be linked below so as you all know, this is my little ink journal. So for April, well right now is April. I I don't know, did I show you guys these? This is um, the inks that I got last month. And these I actually got end of March as well, but I didn't have time to swatch it. So I went ahead and swatched it in here just the other day so i actually got these as well as kind of like new inks so let me just yeah i don't think i shared these with you so i got the sailor ink studio 237 and then these are all pilot orochizuku inks this is kosu mosu fuyu shogun and yamaguri i really love this fuyu shogun which I'm thinking of putting in one of my platinum pens, the grayish silver one that I got recently, or beginning of the year. Um, I just, I love it, and I think this would go so well in that pen. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't fit in my lineup. You know, April to me is like cherry blossom season, so I really wanted to do more pinks. If, yeah, I mean, obviously. So, anyways, um... Yeah, this I just got this week. I have a video all about this ink, so stay tuned for that. And these two I ordered um, last month as well. I just never really swatched it until yesterday. And they're both they're both in these pens. Anyways, I already did this. It just says currently inked, and I used my Sailor Shikiori brush pens. I used both the pink and the purple which I think are my favorite the other ones I guess feel like are so dark so this is Yozakura and the other is Sakura Mori and I just kind of interchange so that's how that is I will be using these again to mark which ones carried over and I need to add like my tabs there so let's see here I'll go ahead and take everything out this is a carryover this is also a carry over because I added this towards the end of the month. Or no, I did not. March 7th is when I added that into the lineup. But this is still pretty full. Um, I did plan on using this towards like spring, summertime just because of the color. This is a carry over as well. And these guys, I think. Yeah, this one and oh looks like this one is a carryover and then this one I ended up inking towards like uh 
the end of the, the month I really wanted something extra fine because these are all fine nibs except for that and then these two I just inked up um, the other day oh my god what happened oh my god that scared me look at that why is it like that I'm like did it leak it didn't you see that that scared me <gasps> oh my god oh my god it didn't leak it didn't we're good okay anyways so I will do it in that order, like on how I have had them inked. So let me just put them like that. All right, let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna refer back here. This is the Platinum 3776 Century Pen Elka which is like the one with the cherry blossoms. It's just so pretty. And as you can see, I have about that much left. I did use this quite a bit. So I'm pretty much done with this. I'm just really trying to use it up um, before, you know, completely flushing it out and setting it aside. But I do really love this pen so much. I have Vinta Isabella in it. And I just think it's such a gorgeous color. So I'm going to go ahead and do my little um, things here. And then what I what I really want to do is also um, not just, you know, this, but I also kind of want to do like a little note towards the end on how I'm liking the pen and ink combination. Um, just so like for future reference, I can like look back at that and, you know, know if I liked it or not. I do want to add that Vinta inks are now available on Atlas Stationers. Oh my goodness. So I've been away on vacation and I honestly actually haven't even browsed Atlas Stationers, but I did get the email and I'm so excited to check it out. They have other brands as well, other than, you know, not just Vinta inks. It's They've added a lot more than that, and I'm just so excited because I love Atlas Stationer's point system and also that they have discount codes. Um, you know, who doesn't want some savings, right? So I'm very, very excited that they added um, Vinta inks to their shop. So this is Platinum 3776 Century... And this is Oka. And the ink is Vinta Isabella. One of my favorite inks. Oh, by the way, this is with a fine nib. And I want to write no shimmer because this is actually a very shimmery ink, but when I put it in this and I tried my hardest not to suck up any any shimmer, sorry, um, just so it wouldn't clog my nib. Zoomed you in a little bit closer there. Let's do a little. Really love this pen and ink combination. So I'm gonna, how am I gonna do this? I think I will just kind of like write a little note here in the bottom, I think. Okay, so just like that, you know, and I do really love this pen and ink combination. This nib is so good. Like, I I mean, I say it with all of my platinum nibs, but I really just find platinum nibs to be so smooth. And, and to me, it's honestly the perfect size um, for my hands. It's just so comfortable to write with. So I really love my platinum nibs or my platinum pens, to be honest, uh, my century ones. They're just so comfortable to write with. So that's with a fine nib. Now, I have here my Hatsu Yuki Platinum. So this one is so pretty. You guys know how much I love this pen. And I've had this ink since I got it. <laughs> It's just, I just love it so much. And I believe, where is it? Yeah, it's right here. Hatsuyuki 
Fine Nib, and this is Scribo Rosa Antico, and I love it. It still has quite a bit in there. Um, this one is going to be carried over, I'm sure, because I really filled the cartridge of this one to the brim. So yeah, this is one of those pens that I feel like I'm just going to have always inked up. Or will be in my lineup, really. Okay, so... And I know, I know, all my inks are different shades of brown, if you know me by now. This is just kind of, honestly, my go-to. There are a few in this month's lineup that's a little bit different. So, that's something, right? Uh, I do plan on really changing it up a bit more um, for May. I have some purples in mind and also some greens, so definitely stay tuned for that. But of course, it will be more so towards like the muted down colors because you guys know that's kind of just what I like. So, this one is also a century pen, right? Um, hold on a second. Let me write this down first. Hachi Monjia, and this is Hatsuyuki. Fine nib. So it's with a fine nib, but this is. Hold on a second. How am I gonna get this? Scribo. I suppose I can write it in my notes. So hold on a second. So So one thing is that even though this is a fine nib and this is a fine nib, I would say that Vinta Isabella is a wetter ink compared to Scribo. Rosa Antico. So when I'm actually writing with with this one, um, it does feel a little bit more feedbacky. It doesn't feel as smooth as when writing with this one. Um, also, I do find that uh, my strokes are smaller with this ink, and I do think it's because it is a drier ink. So I just made a note that it is a drier ink, just so I know in the future, but I do like the pen and ink combination. I have no troubles writing with it at all, but yeah, I just want to mention that it is definitely a drier ink compared to Vinta Isabella, and that's just, you know, what I've noticed between the two, considering they're both fine nibs. So that's that one, and just in case you want to see a close-up of this nib, this is just kind of what it looks like. It is so pretty. I know my lighting is not the best because it's been pretty cloudy all day. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go into my, um, this one, since I did ink this up next. This is my Decimo, I forget what it's called already. I know it's Book, Book White. Let's see. It's Decimo Hachimonjia Book White. And I have a sailor ink in here. Okay. Hmm. So, this pen has gone through quite a bit of inks until I found the right one. Um, this is a Decimo, and it is with a fine nib, and I actually prefer an extra fine. But, you know, you can only be so picky with when it comes to these pens. They're, this one is a very hard to find pen. And I just, I love it nonetheless. Um, anyways, I had a different ink in here. And honestly, hold on a second.
So the ink that I actually had in here to begin with was a wear and go ink. And I had troubles with that ink because wear and go is a drier ink. So it wasn't writing as good. And so I switched it to the Sailor ink and it's writing so much better. It's definitely a wetter ink compared to um, the wear and go ink. Um, I think I want to try a Pilot Iroshizuku ink in this pen next. I'm thinking Yamaguri, um, just to see how it performs because I do think that this ink might be a little bit too wet because the strokes I do find to be too thick for my liking, not gonna lie. Um, and again, this is a Pilot Decimo with a fine nib, so in experience, it should be about the same as these Platinums right here, but it is coming out, to me at least, to be thicker strokes. So once I'm done with this ink, I am going to try out a different ink in this pen. Not a wear and gold because that's a little bit too, too dry. So I think I will try a Pilot Iroshizuku ink. I think that will work better. So, so there you have it. You can see right there, just my handwriting doesn't look as good whenever I'm writing with a thicker nib, if that makes sense. I just, I write very small. So the finer the nib, to me at least, the better my handwriting looks. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to switch the ink out of this really soon. I think I'm going to do a few other um, spreads in my journal before I do that. Um, and then yeah, switch it out. So that is my Pilot Decimo Hachiman Gia pen. I really, really love it. It's just I'm kind of having a hard time figuring out what ink to put in it. If you guys have any recommendations, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm really thinking of putting or trying out the Pilot Iroshizuku ink in Yamaguri in this pen really soon. Okay, next we have my Platinum Chai Tea pen. I love this pen. This is actually the pen that I brought with me during our trip and I journaled a lot with this pen and I really really love it. Um, this the pen and ink combination is beautiful. I love the brown in this. It's so pretty. You will see. Like look at that. It's definitely darker than what I would normally go for but the dry down is stunning and I just... I love it so much. It just writes so well. Just a combination is perfection. So, yeah, I have no complaints about this pen and ink combination. So happy. So, this is Platinum. Is it NBC? I think it's called NBC. Yeah. NBC. Chai tea. And this is with a fine nib. And this is the non bell tea ink chai. And it's just so good. You can see it's just, ugh, oh, it's really interesting, right? Like, Hold on. Like, this is also a fine nib, and I feel like this writes like this one almost. Like, it's between these two. <laughs> it's really weird. Because it's not too wet, it's not too dry, it's like perfect. Yeah, I love it. I love this pen and ink combination. I think it's so, so good. And again, the dry down is beautiful. At first, it looks so wet that it almost looks black, you know? But then when it dries down, it's this really beautiful, warm brown color. 
I just love it so much. So there you have it. That is my platinum chai tea pen and ink. I just, I'm so happy about this one. Definitely like a new favorite. And again, this is something, or this pen, I do plan on carrying over into like May and June. So yeah, excited about that. Okay, so those are my carryovers. I'm going to go ahead and mark them with this pen, I think. Yeah, with with this one. This is Sailor Shikiyori Sakuramori. And I've gotten questions, you know, where I got this from. I did get it from Amazon. So I will link it for you guys down below. And this is what I do. I just kind of like do a little bracket like that just so I know these are carried over like that so this is a decimal this is my metallic pink pilot decimal um I got this I want to say 2022 yeah it's been a while since I got this and I really love this pinky color it's more so metallic it's like a pinky purpley color it's really beautiful the nib on this one is an extra fine nib and as you can see I have a lot of fines and I was feeling like okay I need something a little bit finer especially if I want to write in my Hobonichi weeks I need an extra fine um or it's just I don't need it it's just what I prefer so I I decided to ink this one up and let me just do this one really quick and you know what's interesting is I have a wear and go ink in here. And it works perfectly. Like it it's so good. It's so weird because I tried a wear and go ink in the fine nib over here and it didn't work. But this wear and go ink is amazing. So I don't know. You see my writing like how it looks so much like daintier and just I don't know I like my handwriting when it looks like this or like that like when it looks dainty this I hate so much like not hate but I just I just know it could be better you know what I mean I just really prefer a finer nib it just looks neater to me so yeah this is actually wearing goal Song of the Reed. And I I love this ink. I don't know why I haven't gotten a bottle of it. Maybe I will soon now because it just works so well. And it just it writes so well, you know? The flow is great. The flow is very smooth and consistent. I I really enjoy this. And I believe I have written in my journal, like a few spreads in my journal with this pen. And I really, really love it. I have no problems with it whatsoever. I love the extra fine, the ink combination. I think it's great. Um, it's interesting because... When it goes down, it almost looks green. But then as soon as it dries, it's definitely a brown so yeah I just you gotta just have to wait and then you'll see more of that like brownish color because yeah the first thing I notice when it goes on is that oh my gosh is it green <laughs> but yeah I really love this combination I think it looks great love it the next two I'm gonna do I think my sailor so I wanted to try this pen again I used it back in January. Nope, February. Yeah, so I had it in February. Um, this is the Hachimonjiya Kobu Sakura pen. And I had the Hachimonjiya Kobu Sakura ink in it. And I even carried it all the way over to um, March. But I honestly, I didn't even use it because just the color wasn't something that I gravitated towards. Oh my gosh, you couldn't even see it. It's right there. Um, it just wasn't something I, I liked or that I reached for when 
when journaling. And so I, I didn't really use it as much as I really wanted to. And also, I find that the nib was a little bit scratchy with that ink. It was really weird. Yeah, it felt almost scratchy. It just wasn't working. And I think maybe because that ink was just so light that it was dry. I don't know. Anyways, I decided to give it another go for April. And, um, because, yeah, I think, did I have it here? Yeah, see, I had it here in March, but literally after I filmed this, this currently inked video, I flushed it out. Because I was like, this isn't, it's just not working. Um, so it's honestly been, you know, sitting in storage for a few weeks now. But I finally inked it up last night, and I have, ta was it Tera Nishi? Taranishi Opera Rose, and I think it's good, so I'm excited. Okay, let me just make sure I know how to spell it. Yeah, Taranishi Opera Rose. So that's what's in this pen, and I'm very excited, so let's see. It's like, now I have high hopes. Also, I was nervous when I was watching this ink. I was like, why is it so almost like an ochre color? Like, I don't know. It just wasn't what I was expecting. But then when it dried down, I was like, oh, there it is. Okay. Because I was almost like, wow, I'm going to return this. <laughs> okay, so this is Sailor Hachimanjia. And this is actually with a medium fine nib. And again, this is Taranishi. So yeah, this is with a medium fine nib. A little bit thicker than I, what I prefer. Though, I do love a medium fine. But yeah, sometimes it just feels thicker than what I want. Um, So yeah, so far so good with this combination. It writes really good. It has really good consistency and it's very smooth. So I'm very happy with this. I definitely prefer this combination um, more than the Hachimonjia ink that I've had in it first. Um, so yeah, I really do hope that I, I use this in my journals. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is probably the thickest nib that I have out of all of this, but I think it'll be good for journaling. Um, you guys know I love my medium fines, really. I do think that this is a little bit on the wetter side for ink-wise, um, but it does feel really good, so I'm very happy with that. Um, we'll just see how much I actually use it, though. So that's that. I really do hope that I use this because it's such a gorgeous pen. If you guys have any recommendations on what ink I should put in this, let me know. Um, I just want something not super dry, you know? Something that has a good flow but not wet. Maybe something a little bit drier than this one would be good. Let me know. Okay, last but not the least is... Uh, I've been wanting to use this pen. I've been waiting for April to ink it up. And it's finally the time. So this is my Platinum Celluloid Pen in Sakura. I believe it's, that's just what it's called. And this is with a fine nib. But oh my goodness, the fine nib in here is so fine that it almost makes me think it's an extra fine. It's awesome. I don't know. Anyways, let's go. So, in this pen, I have another Teranishi ink, and oh gosh, it's very wet. Um, that's what I noticed, but I'm very excited because I haven't used this ink yet, and I think it just looks so good with this pen. As you can see, my gosh.
Like, look at that. It's so pretty. So I would say that this is definitely a wetter ink, but I do love the combination so much more. Do you see what I'm saying? Like the Taranishi inks are wet inks, but it just, this one, I don't know. It just writes really good with this pen. I think I really, really like it. With the Sailor, I do think it's a little bit too wet, but you know, it's something I can totally work with. It's not like a deal breaker. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with this combination. I think that's so pretty. It just writes so well. And I love this color. For some reason, I always tend to put some sort of brown in this pen. I actually think last year I had a uh, Song of the Reed in it, but I could be wrong. But this looks so good. It's Nostalgic Honey by Taranishi, and I'm like, oh my gosh, honey. And this is like a honeycomb type of texture. It's just, it's perfect. So anyways, that's what I have in this pen, and I love it. All right, so I think that about wraps up this video. Let's just do a little bit of a close-up here. So first we have Platinum with Vinta Isabella with no shimmer. We love that one. We have Platinum with Scribo, Rosa Antico. Love that one as well. A Pilot Decimo with the Sailor Ink Studio 273 which I think is just a little bit too wet for this nib. Definitely would prefer something a little bit um, drier ink for this, just so it would write a little bit finer. We have the Platinum Chai Tea Pen and Ink Combo, Love Perfection. Decimo, Extra Fine with Wearing Gold Song of the Reed. That's just, I love how that looks so much. The Sailor Hachimundia Kubo Sakura with Taranishi Opera Rose. Definitely could do something a little bit drier of an ink for this pen, but nonetheless, I do love the combination. Um, excited to see if, you know, if I use it or how much I use it this month. But yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Um, and last but not the least, I have the Platinum Celluloid Sakura with Taranishi Nostalgic Honey. I think that just looks beautiful with that nib. Love it. Look at that. It looks so good. See what I'm saying? Like, the finer the nib, just the better it looks in my handwriting. I just, I feel like when it's thicker, it just doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as neat, you know? So, yeah, I just definitely prefer a finer nib if that makes sense anyways that is it for this video let me know which one is your favorite and if you have a currently inked video that you have posted here on youtube i would love to watch it so definitely leave your link in the comments below and if you don't just you know leave me a comment letting me know what you currently have inked for the month of april i'm always curious to know and you know totally open for like ink and pen combination recommendations etc yeah all right thanks all for being here i hope you enjoyed this video everything will be listed and linked in the description box like usual so definitely check that out and if something is not in there you know feel free to ask me in the comments all right thanks for being here love you guys i will see you all soon in my next one bye